Given the following curve, where does the curve have a horizontal tangent line? Now I've graphed this curve on Wolfram Alpha. We can see that we have a horizontal tangent line right here, approximately at x equals zero. And there's one more over here around four-ish. Well, let's find out. To do that, we have to find the derivative dy dx and find out where that's equal to zero. Because dy dx is the slope of the tangent line. A horizontal tangent line has slope zero. Therefore, we want to find where dy dx is equal to zero. Now, of course, we have to do this implicitly because there are y's inside of the equation itself. So here we go. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. The derivative of y cubed with respect to x, well, y is a function of x. It is stuff. So the derivative of stuff cubed is 3 stuff squared times the derivative of the stuff. That's my dy dx. Minus 9, we're going to pull out that constant using constant rule. And now we have product rule between x and y. Because we have x times y. Product rule says we take the derivative of the first, the derivative of x is 1, times the second, plus the first, x, times the derivative of the second, and the derivative of y is equal to dy dx. And this is all equal to the derivative of 0, which is just 0. Now we'll distribute the negative 9 to both the y and the x dy dx, yielding 3x squared plus 3y squared dy dx minus 9y minus 9x dy dx is equal to 0. And we want to solve for dy dx. So we'll keep all terms with a dy dx on the left hand side and we'll move the other terms over to the right hand side. Yielding 3y squared dy dx minus 9x dy over dx is equal to 9y minus 3x squared. Now we can factor out a dy dx so that we can get it as a product of two things and therefore get it alone. So here we have dy over dx quantity 3y squared minus 9x is equal to 9y minus 3x squared. And finally, we can divide by 3y squared minus 9x. And dy over dx is equal to 9y minus 3x squared over 3y squared minus 9x. Okay, here's our derivative. Now, the question in the very beginning was, where does this curve have horizontal tangent lines? We know there's approximately two of them, but we don't know exactly where they are. So we're going to set this equal to zero. The only thing that makes a fraction equal to zero is if its numerator is equal to zero. So we're going to set 9y minus 3x squared equal to zero. This means that 3x squared is equal to 9y and furthermore that x squared is equal to 3y. We now have some relation x to y. And we have some function with x's and y's in it. And so instead of having uh, an x squared equals 3y we could rewrite y equals x squared over 3 and we can replace x squared over 3 with all of the y's that we have up here. So we know 
that we have horizontal tangent lines when dy over dx is equal to zero and dy over dx is equal to zero when y is equal to x squared over three. So let's just substitute x squared over three in for y in our original equation. So here we have x squared plus, or x cubed plus x squared over three cubed minus nine times x times x squared over three. And this is all equal to zero. Well, now we have x cubed plus x to the sixth over three cubed is 27 minus nine x cubed over three is three x cubed. And this is all equal to zero. x cubed minus three x cubed yields negative two x cubed. So finally we have x to the sixth, or let's write it as one over 27 x to the sixth minus two x cubed is equal to zero. From this point, we can factor. Let's factor out an x cubed. Then we have one over 27 x cubed minus two, and this is all equal to zero. Well, that means that either x cubed is equal to zero or one over 27 x cubed minus two is equal to zero. So we already have x equals zero. That was one of our points where we had a horizontal tangent line and inspecting the graph, it is true that there is a horizontal tangent line at x equals zero. But let's find the other spot, which was around four we said. We'll add two, so we have one over 27 x cubed is equal to two. We can multiply both sides by 27. So x cubed is equal to 54. And that means that x is equal to the cubed root of 54, which is three cube root of two. And so that is our last point where we have a horizontal tangent line. I guess right here is x equals two ti three times the cubed root of two.